Hi everybody, Paul Richards here with Stream Geeks, and today I want to show you how to fix an HDMI cable. For those of you who have used longer HDMI cables, you may have found that the signal sometimes gets corrupted, sometimes it's just not stable, and Magewell has just come out with a new product called a mini HDMI repeater. And what this allows us to do is actually, uh, if you've got a HDMI cable that's not working, it's not strong enough, you can actually plug in an HDMI in and then have a shorter HDMI out and it comes through crystal clear. This saved us in our studio so I really wanted to make a video on it. I talked to Magewell about it and they gave us a couple to give away on our YouTube channel. So on streamgeeks.us slash giveaway you can actually enter to win one. But first of all, let me show you on pen and paper how this product works because it's really an awesome product. So, first of all, we have um, the HDMI cable that comes in. So, HDMI, let's put your computer here. So, here's the computer. Just draw a little computer with a little keyboard and mouse. And your computer's got a long HDMI cable that's going to a display. Now, it could also be a camera. And I'm also going to talk, we're going to we use these with our PTZ Optics cameras as well. And you've got this long HDMI cable. It could be maybe 50 to 100 feet. Even 35 feet sometimes is difficult to get that distance. And it starts to, you're starting to see weird stuff. It's just not coming through. And it's really annoying on Windows when you might have maybe three monitors. We've got three monitors, we've got four monitors on our computer. One, two, and three. And when one of them disconnects, Windows messes up and everything starts to frizzle. And I'll show you an example of that. It's really annoying. So I thought that the, it went over here, but actually what happens is, is the way HDMI repeaters work is the HDMI repeater goes over by the display right here and it boosts the signal to the display. Because what's happening is the signal coming from your computer is, is really good usually, but these consumer LCDs, you know, from Samsung and, and, and all these different manufacturers, they're getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, and they're not able to read some of the optical uh, zeros and ones coming down the pipeline of these HDMI cables very well. So the Magewell repeater is a very high quality reader of the HDMI in, and then we go HDMI out to our display. It actually allows us, if we've got a really long 100 footer, you might want, and it's not working, you might want to actually do a 50 footer to a repeater to another 50 footer. And this will boost the signal far enough that it'll really make it work. So let me show you guys a video of actually plugging it in right here. So I wanted to show the problem here. So we have an HDMI cable running from our computer all the way over to this television. It's about 50 feet. I don't know if you've ever used a 50 foot HDMI cable before, but they're unreliable. And sometimes if I'm finagling it, sometimes I'll get a signal, sometimes I won't get a signal, sometimes it'll pop in, sometimes it won't pop in. And uh, I have so much of an issue with it um, that sometimes the Windows monitors will renegotiate and things, it's just I can't seem to get it to get a clean connection. So I'm going to undo, here's the HDMI cable, you can see it right here. Uh, it's one of those big, fat, 50-foot HDMI cables run through the, the ceiling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in a mini repeater. This is a Magewell 4K mini HDMI repeater. It's getting power via USB. I have Most of these new smart screens have USB. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the HDMI. This is the HDMI that's just unreliable. And now I can basically repeat it. So I can actually go another 20 or 30 feet. That's why it's a repeater and go further with my HDMI. I'm actually not sure how much further we can go, but it makes the HDMI signal super clean. And I'll explain why in our video. But that is the issue that we're solving. And now we're getting a super crystal clear video. It works every time. So this has already helped us in our studio. And I'm sure some of you out there have HDMI cables that are troublesome. This is the perfect tool in your tool bag, whether you're an audiovisual integrator, a broadcast engineer, or someone interested in live streaming. Having one of these around can save the day. So let me show you um, a couple more just quick tips about this product so we can really dig into the specs. So the HDMI mini 
4K repeater is compatible with HDMI 2.0. It's also compatible with DVI standards. It supports 3D, 4K, and 2K, plus it's HDCP 1.0 uh, uh, and 2.0. It can receive and equalize signals. It eliminates signal dithering, and it provides a DDC buffer. So this is a really powerful product. It actually supports up to six gigabits of data. That is full 4K. And it's actually powered by the HDMI signal, but also we highly suggest you use the external power supply, which is a five volt USB power supply. There's an onboard LED that shows the status of the input and output. And the suggested cable length is really still be de de determined, but my testing shows that roughly 35 to 50 foot HDMI cables is where we start to have our issues and this product comes into play. So as of right now, what Majorwell is saying is if it's a 100 foot HDMI cable, really even anything more than 100 feet, you might want to just throw it away and do a 50 footer with a repeater and another 50 footer. And then again, you can use repeaters over and over again. The full length of, of how far you can go is to be determined by Magewell, so keep your eye on them. But enter to win one of these. These are great tools for your tool bag, as I mentioned, at streamgeeks.us giveaway. Thanks for watching, everybody.